Last weekend, protons and heavy ions were injected for the first time into the LHC machine in two of its sectors, from point two, where the ALICE detector is located, till point three, and in the opposite direction, from point eight, through the LHCb detector, until point seven, where the beam was stopped. Today, an important milestone in the voyage of the LHC towards first collisions is going to be reached with the injection from point seven to point six, and if we're lucky, we will continue till point five. It's worth reminding that the LHC machine is composed of eight sectors of 3.5 kilometers each, and each of them can be tested and operated individually with the thousands of circuits that they contain. Let's now go inside the control center to speak with one of the engineers in charge and see where they are with this injection of today. Hey, how are you? How is it going today? Well, uh, fine. We are trying to commission the main circuits in sector 6-7 to be able to inject the beam from point 8, uh, making it circulating up to point 7, up to point 6, and then to point, uh, to point 5. And where are we with this uh, operation? Well, we, we are trying to now to ramp up the dipoles uh, to injection current. Uh, we have some small issues, but uh, we are uh, quite confident we can do it by, the, by this evening. So what's missing now? Which are the sectors that are still to be commissioned yeah. for you to inject everywhere in the 27 yeah. kilometers? Well, let's say that uh, at the moment half of the machine is fully commissioned and the other half uh, we are on a good way for, uh, for, uh, for having the, the circulating beam. Uh, the latest uh, sectors to come are sector 3-4, of course, the one where we had the incident last uh, 19th of September, and sector 6-7, we are nevertheless uh, well progressing today. So we hope uh, by the 20, 21st of, uh, of November to be ready with the with all the machine uh, for the for the circulating beam. Okay, I'll uh, just let you work now because it's very delicate. Thank you, Mirko. Thank and you. See you in a few weeks' time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The tests that are being performed right now require a lot of time, but most of all, a lot of attention, because the LHC is an extremely complex machine. Uh, this machine is extreme in many respects, extreme for uh, uh, its intrinsic difficulty, 27 kilometers of uh, superfluid helium, uh, very high beam power, very high energy density. Uh, very little, zero margin for uh, errors. So th this is a very, very difficult machine. So Eight, okay. Yes, you've closed already uh, four, five, and five, six hours. And Saturday evening, November 7th, the CCC engineers managed to get a beam of protons until point five through the CMS detector. For the first time, CMS could see tracks of particles instead of just cosmic rays. This is uh, the first time we would get uh, uh, accelerated particles going through the experiment. And what happens actually is that uh, a beam of uh, protons, uh, uh, five billion protons, uh, strike a collimator. Uh, these are uh, protons which have uh, 450 GeV injection energy. And they lead to uh, lots of uh, other particles, mostly muons. And so there's a wave of particles, a tsunami of particles, which goes through the experiment uh, as a single wave. And we had about 1,000 of these waves. And this data... Uh, also allows us to actually check the timing of the detectors because it's a single wave which goes through the detector, so it's also quite useful, and it checks that the detectors are functioning well. And so there was, a, again, great excitement when the first shot comes through and all of the detectors uh, fire, and uh, so in the control room, everybody's shouting, we've seen the wave, we've seen the wave. Next step is going to be injection into the entire 27-kilometer circuit of the LHC. Keep following the LHC news.